Hey, what's going on, future CWIs? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into these videos, please subscribe and arch strike that like button for more content. Hey, what's going on, future CWIs? 2025 is here, and this is the year that you guys want to become certified welding inspectors. I know that there's going to be a lot of opportunities out there nationwide, so let's conquer the CWI on the first try. With that being said, I want to take the time to give a shout out to all my loyal and future subscribers. All your positive feedback encourages me to provide you guys with some quality content. So it's much appreciated. Um, so go ahead and arc strike that like button for more content. Like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some structural steel requirements on class 2.0, specifically focusing on 2.2.4 fillet weld terminations and starts. 2.2.4.1 statically loaded connections and 2.2.4.2 cyclically loaded connections. Let's get into it. So let's go ahead and read what these requirements say. 2.2.4 states that fillet welds shall not be terminated on corner of lab joints. Terminations and starts shall be as followed. So real quick, this simple sentence outlines that fillet welds can terminate on corner of lab joints. If you see a weld terminate on the corner of lab joints during your exam, it's rejected, simple and plain. There's a criteria that you guys have to follow and it's mentioned on these next two statements. 2.2.4.1, statically loaded connections. Terminations and starts shall be made by either holding the weld back from the corner for a distance not less than the specified fillet weld size or by wrapping the weld around the corner not less than two times nor more than four times the specified fillet well size. Okay, so for this statement here, there are two options for statically loaded connections. Option number one, either the weld is held back short of the corner by a distance that is at least equal to the size of the specified fillet weld, or option two, the weld continues around the corner for a length of two to four times the specified weld size. Now let's check out cyclically loaded connections under 2.2.4.2. Terminations and starts shall be made by wrapping the weld around the corner for a distance not less than two times nor more than four times the specified fillet weld size. This requirement slightly differs from statically loaded connections, so be careful not to confuse the two. Unlike statically loaded connections, where option one allows you to hold back the weld at the corner of the joint, cyclically loaded connections do not permit this. Instead, the weld must wrap around the corner two to four times the specified weld size. You will still have to use your machinist ruler to ensure the desired length of the wraparound is achieved. For option one, during your exam, they may provide you the size of the fillet weld. For example, let's say it's a quarter of an inch. You will then need to use your machinist ruler to measure the distance from the corner, ensuring that it's held back at least a quarter of an inch. It can be larger, but it must not be smaller. For option two, the weld must wrap around the corner for a length of two to four times the specified weld size. For example, if the weld size is a quarter of an inch, the minimum wraparound length should be half an inch. Use your machinist ruler to verify that it meets this minimum requirement, but does not exceed four times the weld size, meaning it should not be longer than one inch. Well, there you have it, future CWIs. The first video of 2025 is in the books. Um, don't forget to take advantage on the free practice test that I provide on my website to test your knowledge. Until the next one, my friends.